Hi everybody, welcome to Elementary Classical Mechanics, the subject where observing the universe suggests new mathematical and computational approaches that can literally transform our way of modeling and predicting any aspect of the world. Hi, welcome back to the third lecture for chapter two. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about derivatives and integrals of vectors or more precisely, derivatives and integrals of vector-valued functions of a scalar variable. Okay, we're going to consider now that we have a vector that's a function of a scalar variable we'll call t, and in our the applications that we're going to consider in here, t we can interpret as time. Time is a scalar, a real number. And we'll write that function in this way. And remember, it's still a vector. It's defined by direction and length for each value of t. So both could change as a function of t, for example. Now we're going to first consider the these vectors expressed in the ijk coordinate system, the Cartesian coordinate system. So i, j, and k are unit vectors that do not change in time their length or direction. Well, we could define a vector in the usual way with a difference quotient. It looks exactly the same, and the important thing is we can divide by a scalar, delta t. And when a of t is expressed in Cartesian coordinates, then the derivative is just the derivative of the components because i, j, and k do not depend on time. So this is quite familiar. Now that will change later when we consider coordinate systems where the unit vectors can vary in time. In, but they're going to be unit length, so what, they, what varies is their direction, but not now. i, j, and k always fix length, always fix direction, so their derivative is always zero. Okay, and higher order derivatives are defined in the same way. So I, could, I give you an example where you can compute this. And remember, all the, well, the answers are here, but the answers to all the exercises are in the solutions manual that um, I've given you the URL to. Second derivatives, the same idea, i, j, and k do not vary at all, and so the second derivative. So it's easy to verify, and I leave it as an exercise, and this is a, this is a fairly easy exercise in the i, j, k coordinate system because i, j, and k do not change in direction or length. But we have these product rules for differentiating products involving vectors. The product of a scalar times a vector. Scalar can depend upon t, and the vector depends on t. Dot product of two vectors, cross product of two vectors. And the result is exactly what you would expect. Okay, integration of vectors. That's the same idea. A of t is the vector-valued function of a scalar variable expressed in the ijk coordinates. And the integral is just the integral of each component. That's the only thing that can vary, be integrated. OK, and we have something analogous to the, uh, we can express something analogous to the fundamental theorem of calculus that the integral, I'll be careful about this, the integral of a function, a of t, is the integral of another function whose derivative is a of t. Okay, the usual fundamental theorem of calculus. Remember, this is an indefinite integral, and so it's that function or primitive plus a constant now, the very important thing to re remember is this constant 
c is a vector, not just a number. It's a, we get a constant, a number, scalar, for each component. We add them together and express them in vector notation in this way. And so for definite integrals, it's the usual notation. The endpoints of the integral are just scalars because we're just integrating um, a vector valued function that is a function of a scalar variable, but effectively we're just integrating each component because the ijk coordinate system, ij and k are constant vectors, meaning constant in length, constant in direction. And here's an example that you can check for practice. And this is the constant that you get from it. So pay attention to this example and the constant. That will come up later on when we're actually solving problems. And uh, it can uh, cause I issues. OK, so that's a general description of differentiation and integration of, of vectors, valued functions of a single scalar variable t time, uh, and we'll see vector valued functions of a vector variable later on. But that's this is good for now. Next time we will talk about the main example, space curves, their der description and derivatives, and that's going to be a theme that runs throughout uh, many lectures in this course. So, bye for now.